Hi guys, I'm Neha and welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. India has always been an agrarian economy and agriculture is the backbone of Indian economy in the true sense. Same is the case with the community involved in the agricultural activities. They are the ones who are carrying Indian economy and its development on their shoulders. Indian government is also trying its best to generate human resources that can use modern technology and technique so that sustainable development could be done in the field of agriculture. Opening of various specialized agricultural institutes and running agriculture and allied activities specific courses is one such step. Today in this video, I'm going to explain about one such educational program that has helped generate professionals that are really proving as an asset for the agriculture sector and are playing an all important role in the development of India agricultural system. Yes, my dear friends, I'm talking about Bachelors of Science in Agriculture, better known as BSc Agriculture course, that has become the first choice of many graduates and considered as one of the most demanded courses in the term of career and personal growth in the field of agriculture science. As a student, if your interest lies in the agriculture sector, then you must be curious to know the scope and the future of BSc Agriculture Science in India. If you want to know, what is BSc Agriculture course all about? What are the eligibility conditions for pursuing BSc Agriculture course? What are the required skills? What is the syllabus of BSc Agriculture? How to get admission in the course? Which are the top institutes providing BSc Agriculture course? What is the fee structure? What are the career prospects and job profile after doing BSc Agriculture? What are the salary prospects after BSc Agriculture and much more then keep watching this video till the very end. Let us start with a very basic question and that is what BSc Agriculture is all about. BSc Agriculture or Bachelor of Science in Agriculture is a four-year undergraduate course that primarily focuses on research and practices in agricultural science dealing with disciplines like genetics and plant breeding agriculture microbiology, soil science, plant pathology, etc. It is a professional degree recognized by the government of India in the field of agriculture science. BSc Agriculture course aims to provide training to implement modern agriculture techniques and technology in the real world scenario. Now I would like to tell you about the eligibility conditions required for getting admission in BSc Agriculture course. For getting admission in BSc Agriculture course, the aspiring candidates need to clear 12th class in science stream with 50% or above marks having physics, chemistry, biology and or mathematics as compulsory subjects. Apart from this, candidates possessing intermediate in agriculture stream are also eligible to apply for the course. Along with fulfilling these eligibility conditions, you must have certain set of skills required to successfully complete BSc Agriculture course. And the foremost skill that you need to possess is the willingness to work in agriculture sector as it requires very strong physical and mental stamina. BSc aspirants need to have excellent communication skill as they are supposed to be the main link between the farmers working in the fields and the fraternity that is working for the betterment and improvement of the agriculture produce like researchers etc. Entrepreneurship development skills are must so as to guide other farmers and companies related to agricultural produce. Besides these skills, the aspirants must have a good knowledge about agriculture so as to work on fields as and when required. Now let me tell you something about the syllabus of BSc Agriculture course. BSc Agriculture course is divided into 8 semesters so that students can complete this course in a periodical way. In the first year of the course, students will learn the basics of plants, the economics of agriculture and humanity science. In the second and third years, they will get interacted with topics such as core agriculture engineering, entomology and microbiology. In the final year, they will get practically on-field experience through agronomy and agriculture statistics. If we take it semester-wise, in the semester one, you will study subjects like Fundamentals of Agronomy, Fundamentals of Genetics, Fundamentals of Soil Science, Fundamentals of Horticulture, Rural Sociology and Educational Psychology, 
introduction to forestry introductory animal husbandry comprehension and communication skills in english agricultural heritage introductory biology or basic agriculture 1 and elementary mathematics or basic agriculture 2 second semester consists of subjects like fundamentals of crop physiology fundamentals of plant biochemistry fundamentals of entomology 1 fundamentals of agricultural economics principles of organic farming fundamentals of plant pathology production technology for vegetables and spices fundamental of agricultural extension education food processing and safety issues human values and ethics and soil and water conservation engineering whereas semester 3 consists of subjects like crop production technology 1 practical crop production 1 fundamentals of plant breeding agricultural microbiology agricultural finance and cooperation farm machinery and power principle of integrated disease management environmental studies and disaster management dairy science and fundamentals of entomology 2 in the fourth semester you will study crop production technology second practical crop production second principles of seed technology problematic soils and their management renewable energy and green technology production technology for ornamental crops map and landscaping entrepreneurship development and business communication introductory agrometrology and climate change and poultry production and management in semester 5th you study subjects like rain fed and dryland agriculture crop improvement 1 pests of crop and stored grain and their management agriculture marketing trade and prices protected cultivation and secondary agriculture diseases of field and horticulture crops and their management 1 productional technology of fruit and plantation crops communication skills and personality development geoinformatics and nanotechnology intellectual property rights principles of food science and nutrition and elective 1 whereas semester 6 consists of subjects like farming system precision farming and sustainable agriculture crop improvement second manures fertilizers and soil fertility management farm management production and resource economics diseases of field and horticulture crops and their management too post harvest management and value addition of fruits and vegetables watershed and wasteland management beneficial insects and pest of horticulture crops and their management and elective 2 and educational tour semester 7 includes subjects like general orientation and on campus training by different faculties and project report preparation presentation and evaluation in final semester that is semester number 8 you study subjects like production technology or bio agent and bio fertilizers seed production and technology mushroom cultivation technology soil plant water and seed testing and commercial beekeeping here i would like to bring to your knowledge that this syllabus may vary a bit from university to university and institute to institute however the core subjects will always be the same So you must go through the contents of the syllabus of the institute you are planning to join in the near future. Now you would like to know how to get admission in BSc agriculture course. There are two ways of getting admission into the BSc agriculture program offered by various colleges or universities. The first one is of direct admission. In this way, aspirants should apply for admission via the application form released by the college or university before the last date. and admission is done on the basis of the marks secured by the eligible candidates in the qualifying exam however in the most of the reputed agriculture universities or institutes the admission is provided on the basis of rank obtained in the entrance exam taken by the respective universities or institutes after the entrance exam is conducted some colleges or universities conduct an additional counseling round or personal interview round before the final allocation of seats Now let me tell you about some of the popularly known BSc agriculture entrance exams. Some of the widely taken BSc agriculture entrance exam that you can also think to take are 
Indian Council of Agricultural Research All India Entrance Exam Banaras Hindu University BSc Agriculture Entrance Exam Andhra Pradesh Engineering Agricultural and Medical Common Entrance Test and Telangana State Engineering Agriculture and Medical Common Entrance Test to name a few Which are the top institutes for doing BSc Agriculture course If you want to go for government or public institutes then there are institutes like Punjab Agriculture University Ludhiana Jawaharlal Nehru Krishi Vishwavidyalaya Jabalpur and University of Agriculture Science Bangalore If you prefer to do your BSc agriculture from a private institute then you can go for institutions like lovely professional university jalandhar velour institute of technology velour guru kashi university bathinda and itm university gwalior to name a few here come the general question asked by every single aspirant and that is what is the fee structure of bsc agriculture course the average fee charged for bsc agriculture course vary greatly from institute to institute If you are planning to do your BSc agriculture course from a government institute then you may have to shell out something between rupees 40000 to rupees 80000 as your course fee however it may be as high as rupees 3.5 lakh to 6 lakh in a private agriculture institute now i will let you guys know about the very important question and that is What are the career prospects and job profile after completion of BSc agriculture courses? As far as career prospects are concerned, there are a number of options for candidates having BSc agriculture degree in hand, thanks to government's special attention toward Indian agriculture. Besides opting for higher studies like MSc agriculture sciences and MBA or PGDM in agriculture or allied fields followed by PhD in the area of interest. and can go for ARS that is agriculture research service examination there are also various government jobs offered after bsc agriculture you can get these jobs in the banking sector as there are special posts for agriculture officers assistant agriculture officer and field officers etc the gazetted post of government of india as agriculture officer is one of the most prestigious jobs in the public sector after bsc agriculture BSc graduates can also get employment in the government department related with agriculture and other allied activities like central and state government ministries and departments agricultural finance department corporation research institutions nationalized rural and agricultural development banks krishi vigyan kendras agro industry sector agriculture universities and various agriculture service organizations if you are interested in private sector You can get jobs in various private research institutes, seed development centers and agriculture produce procurement agencies etc. Some of the various important positions that you can attain after doing your BSc agriculture are as agriculture officer, assistant plantation manager, agricultural research scientist, agriculture development officer, agriculture technician, as marketing executive, plant breeder and seed technologist etc now the most eagerly asked question what are the pay packages or salaries offered to bsc agriculture degree holders salary of a fresh graduate in this field can vary from rupees 3.6 lakh to rupees 6 lakhs depending on the organization that the individual plans to join but due to high demand of experienced professional it can jump to as high as rupees 8 lakh to rupees 15 lakhs after some experience in the field whereas the salaries of those working in government department largely depends upon the pay scales prevalent at the time and these can be different from state to state in the central government departments hopefully the details provided here will be helpful for candidates who are interested in joining the bsc agriculture course if you still have any queries you may let us know in the comment section hope you will like this video if it is really so Please hit the like button for regular notifications. Please subscribe to Argus Study YouTube channel. We will be back with some more videos. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe. Good luck.